At a time when most people are obsessed with washing their hands, there's a Chicago man who doesn't mind getting his a little dirty. In tonight's cover story, WGN's Mike Lowe introduces you to a gardener who's helping his neighborhood breathe a little easier. Chicago's motto is herbs in Horto. City in a garden. It's a nice little oasis. And tucked next to these Roscoe Village railroad tracks. A canvas to kind of let nature work its miracle. There's something magical and mysterious in full bloom. The flowers just look so pretty in the sunlight. The city in a garden sprouted a garden in the city. I've noticed the garden. I have no idea what it is. The unknown garden has been there so long. Most neighbors. Unknown gardener don't know the roots of the story. I've never seen anyone over there. Much less the man. It's almost like there's this, uh, you know, kind of outsider, like who is this incredible person? Who cultivates it. But if you wake up with the sun, you just might see his shadow. People have asked me before, well, why do you do this? Do you do it for recognition? I said, well, no, not really. I, I do it for a couple of reasons, because it makes me feel good. I can look out, you know, sit in my side yard, and. Uh, have a libation and look out, and it kind of gives you feel, a feeling of a little elbow room, even though you're in the, you know, smack dab in the middle of the city. In 1988, Keith Christunis was a new resident on what was then a rough stretch of Ravenswood Avenue. A neighbor applied for a $5,000 grant to beautify the blight. When she approached me on this, she said, well, what do you think? And I go, eh. I said, you know, well, who's going to be your help? Oh, I've got a lot of people to help. I said, I'm not talking about weekend one, two, or three. I'm talking about weekend 100, 200, 300. 1,600 weekends later, more than three decades of gardening, he's the only one left. Kind of fell to me, and I don't want to let it go. He's very discreet in what he does, but you see him out there all the time, and he doesn't ask for anything. He almost declines help. I think it's neat for Roscoe Village to have something like this. I'm just pruning the old kind of dead stuff from last year. The gravelly-voiced retired financial planner. People ask me the name of all these things, and I said, you know, I don't really know the names of most of them, but I know what's a weed and what's not. When you retire, it's like uh, AARP mandates that you grow a goatee, a gray goatee, and you start gardening. Now spends 25 hours a week and about 500 bucks a year tending to the unknown garden that stretches for four city blocks. So it goes Roscoe, Henderson, School, Melrose to Belmont. So I mow those four city blocks. He does it in all seasons. It's uh, mid-April and we're supposed to be cutting the grass. Oh, we have snow and we gotta wait for it to melt before we cut. A part-time job that rewarded his patience and persistence with a nickname. When you're out there cutting the lawn a lot, you have time to think and your mind wanders, so I'm going, I, I should have a nickname, you know, lawn man, lawnmower man. <laughs> garden guy. After thinking about it in about eight, nine names, I go, you know, you can't give yourself your own nickname. So he went back to work, and soon a woman wandered over, and an idea sprouted from her two lips. And so some lady was walking by, and she said, you know, I've always thought of you as the unknown gardener. It stuck, taking hold like seed in soil. The anonymity afforded him a certain artistic license, as he cleared the trash, he collected glass, making faces for the fences. When they do notice them and I'm out there, they ask me, well, who did these? And I say, I did that. They go, well, these are great. And, you know, are you an artist? And I said, well, I don't know, finding junk and kind of repurposing it as art, then I'm an artiste. But nowadays, he finds himself planting something even more valuable. It gives people some hope that maybe we're going to turn the corner on this. During the coronavirus pandemic, when death dominates the headlines, the unknown gardener nurtures life. Especially right now, you need any beauty out there you can get. We appreciate it deeply. It's really, really nice. It's something that, you know, all the neighbors can enjoy. We don't have a garden, but 
This way we can walk through one. When you plant a garden, you're really planting a belief in tomorrow. A tomorrow which is always unknown. People need to get out and get refreshed by nature, so this sort of does that same thing, kind of the renewal of the spirit. In Chicago's Roscoe Village neighborhood, Mike Lowe, WGN News. He does a great job. Mm -hmm, he does. Well, he battled COVID-19.